Time for the next E2 race of the day. The juniors have made their way out for the Broken Spoke 2023 Alan Cox Cup. We are live on the Facebook page and it's time for in one, Timmy Reid out of two, Byron Burns from three, George Miles from four, Diesel Compton from five, Jack Morgan. And in the light cart, Jackson Tate Selwood. Now we're gonna flick it once again all to uh, one class mode. So we'll stick them all together. Because it's, it's not fair to keep Mr. Selwood separate. Welcome to the live feed, Tommy Dyke, from all the way over there in Dolby in Queensland. We are ready to go then. Juniors head through ARB now. Reed, Burnsy, Miles, Compton, Morgan, Selwood. Down through. The Tamworth Building Supplies kink down that short shoot and into Karting, New South Wales. Very pedestrian formation lap. They're in the tram lines and ready to go. This is heat number two then for the juniors. Ready to go green here at Oakburn, home of Tamworth Car Club. Miles, he looking racy on row two, giving him the bump. Right behind him is Gilwood. We are green and away we go. Big shuffle of the pack as they go through turn one. It all got shaken up and stirred as they go through garage 94. Oh, someone's gone dirty for 30. Into broken spoke they go. Back on themselves into ARB. A good start by the looks of it from Reed once again as they head through Tamworth Building Supplies, inside, whoa, trying to go inside. There's a big move and he does get it done as Reed, I'm pretty sure, leads the way. It was Selwood going two in front of Burnsey. Burnsey slots down to three. Selwood took him on the inside of cart in New South Wales. They all go over the line into Garage 94. It is Reed, Selwood, Burns, Compton, Miles, then Morgan at the back as they go through the broken spoke. Now they head through ARB and then back on themselves, trying to straight line their speed through Tamworth Building Supplies. As my good mate from Queensland, Brendan with an e-golf says, straight line it as much as you dare. So, Reed, Selwood, Burns, Compton, Miles, Morgan. Through they head down Kenway Clark's front straightaway. All single file already, waiting for the first move to come then. And Burnsy would love to have a crack back at Selwood. Selwood's in the light cart, remember? And uh, he would love to have a go at him, but right now Selwood is turning up the wick and getting away from him in the much smaller chassis through Karting New South Wales. They come, Reedy getting away, 36.978. Absolutely flying is Reed. And right now you have to say who is going to step up to the plate to get to him. The one man who could is for sure the light cart in two and that's Jackson Tate Selwood. He's got the pace to get after him. Here they go through broken spoke onto ARB. Now into Tamworth building supplies once again. All feathering through there in single file. Curb strikes coming in as they go through there as well, trying to get that straight line as tight as possible. But Reed looking mighty quick. Reed goes through. Delwood, Burnsy. Miles struggles through to the moment behind Compton. Then Morgan trying to chase him down. And Miles really is somewhere where I didn't think he'd be. He's just dropped off slightly. So George Miles got a bit of work to do to get back to Diesel Compton. But Compton now is the one looking to make a move. Byron Burns could be in trouble. Compton starting to speed up. Burns, he's getting held up. You're gonna have to hang on, sorry, as they come back towards me. Compton and Burns. Compton. 
Jumps it through there, down into turn one. That time round, Compton a 36.7 to a 36.6 to Burns. Does he reverse it? Through they go, that is five laps completed. Still nothing between them and he's right on his tail. The times don't show that, but I'll tell you what he is. Oh, then he goes wide though. Coming off of broken spoke, he just got caught out and he went mighty wide going into A or B and it's done him no good. Burns has got away from him. So work to do, Reed, Selwood, Burns, Thompson going tight. Then Miles, through he goes, behind Miles. Still hanging on, that number 59 car of Jack Morgan. As the leaders have already gone through, Garage 94 and Selwood, the light car now really is starting to shape up and really is starting to motor. He is getting closer and closer. And Timmy Reed won't want him there because Timmy Reed, remember, he's in a different class. One is in the heavy class, one is in the light class. And it's heavy, leading light. Through he goes. He's got the pace. Timmy Reed could be led. Through behind them. Burns, Compton, Miles, Morgan. They all go into Garage 94. And where will Selwood make the move? Because Selwood has now caught Timmy Reed. Got to be very careful how he goes past him. He's not really racing with him, although uh, you have to say he is. But he's in a different class on the same part of the circuit. He goes on the inside, Reed, I'm pretty sure moved over and allowed him very cleverly to go over the inside. Selwood leads, Reed two, Burnsy, Compton, Miles. Do they all head? There goes Morgan, jumping his way through the final turn. And there you can see Selwood now starting to get away. There will be one to go after this one. Eight laps have been completed. Through ARB they go. Now they're into Tamworth Building Supplies. And the short shoot down to Carton, New South Wales, the left-hander. Back towards me he comes. Selwood in that light car eventually got himself to the front. Reed went with him, Burnsy followed suit. Compton pushing out 36 nines, 37s to Miles and Morgan. They all go down the Kenway Clark front straight away. One to go then. This is it. The flag is in the hands of the starter and now finisher because this is the last corner. The juniors, first of all, in the lights, your winner, Jackson Pace Selwood. Winner in the heavy, Timmy Reed. Second, Byron Burns. Third, Diesel Compton. Fourth, George Miles. And fifth, Jack Morgan.